Now we're going to take a look at the intermediate example. Now a few performance notes for this. Um, we're going to be using alternate picking, palm muting and accenting, uh, which we looked at in the examples earlier in this DVD. Um, so let me just play the opening riff and then we'll break that down. So here we go. Okay, starting off, we're going to play a D power chord, which is 5th fret on the A, 7th fret on the D, and then we're going to slide that up to an E power chord, so we're going to have... Then we're going to go to uh, the E power chord, which is open E and 2nd fret on the A, and we're going to play two palm muted downstrokes and then an open um, chord, so we're going to have this. Okay, now after that, uh, we're going to go to the G chord, which is 3rd fret on the low E, 5th fret on the A. And then we've got another uh, kind of riff idea, which is going to start on the 7th fret on the uh, A. Um, I'd recommend doing this with the little finger and using our first two fingers um, as well. So we're going to have 7th fret on the A, 5th fret on the low E, and 3rd fret on the low E. So we're going to have... Then we're going to go to the 5th fret on the A, then play 5-3-5 five, five on the low E. Okay, so let me just play the G and then that riff afterwards. And when you combine it with the rest of the riff, it should sound like this. Okay, now we're going to look at the second part of the riff and it's going to look like this. Okay, so we're doing the D slide up to E power chord again. Two downstroke palm muted open E's, then an open E, so without palm muting. Then we're going to go to the G, then slide up to um, the eighth fret on the low E. Then we're going to play 7th uh, fret on the A, 10th fret on the A. Then we're going to play the 8th fret on the low E. Then we're going to play 10, 9 on the A. Then finish up on 10 on the low E. So we've got this. Okay, so so far uh, with the first riff, it should sound like this. Okay, now for the, uh, for the next part, we're just going to play the same riff as what we started with, so we're going to have this. Then to finish off uh, this first riff, we're going to go up and we're going to play a chord starting on the 8th fret on the low E, then uh, the 10th fret on the A, and then we're going to play uh, the 12th fret on the D, um, so it's going to be a 9th power chord. So that's going to be a C. So we're going to play that twice with two downstrokes. Then we're going to move that whole shape up two frets. Uh, so we're now going to be playing um, a D chord. And uh, we're going to be playing 10 on the low E, 12 on the A, and then 14 on the D. And we're going to play that three times. OK, so all of those examples back to back should sound like this. Okay, now uh, all of those examples um, make up what we're going to call riff one. Okay, now we're going to look at the second riff. Here it is. Okay, for this next riff, um, we're going to be starting off with palm muting and we're going to be playing an E minor power chord, and we're going to have five um, palm muted downstrokes in a row, so we're going to have... Then we're going to have a quick down, up, down, so we're going to be using alternate picking as well, so... Then 
Then we're going to have accent, palm muted chord, accent. So we're going to have. And there's a certain amount of left hand muting going on in there as well. So that whole first part of the riff slow should sound like this. OK, now that's the first time round. And then we're going to repeat the alternate picking and accents after that. So after that, it's going to sound like this. OK, so we're going to have three palm muted downstrokes. Then we're going to have alternate picking with down, up, down. Then accent, palm muted, and then accent. So we're going to have this. OK, so when you join that on to the first time, um, what will happen is that second part of the riff that I just played will get repeated uh, another two times. Then at the end, we're going to have um, a riff which is going to go like this. And that's going to start on the third fret on the A, and then fifth fret on the A, second fret on the A, so we're going to have... Then third fret on the low E, and then the first fret on the low E. So a really slow tempo, just so you can really hear what's going on, it should sound like this. And to the actual backing track, that's repeated four times. So let me just play it a little bit quicker so it just sounds more like the performance. OK, now with all those parts together, um, we're going to call that Riff 2. Now we're going to take a look at Riff 3, and uh, it's going to be using the same sort of picking pattern as what we were using in Riff 2, but we're going to have uh, two alternate picking sections back to back at the end. So we're going to have down, up, down, down, up, down. OK, let me just play through the first chord slow using the rhythm that I've just explained, and then uh, we'll break it down. So here we go. OK, so what we're doing there is we're doing five palm muted downstrokes uh, on the F sharp chord that we're playing. So that's second fret on the low E, fourth fret on the A. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we've got a down, up, down, accent, palm mute, accent. Then we've got two more palm muted F sharps. Then we've got down, up, down, down, up, down. OK, so let me just play that real slow again, just so you can uh, keep that explanation in your head while watching. So here we go. OK, now that right hand pattern is going to be the same pattern that we're going to use uh, for the next two chords. So we're going to just move the next chord up to G, third fret low E, fifth fret on the A, and we're going to do the same thing again. Each one of these chords is played once using this sequence. OK, so when we play the F sharp chord and the G chord back to back, it should sound like this. And now we're going to move up to the A power chord. And we've got uh, five on the low E, seven on the A. Do the same pattern again. OK, the next chord we're going to play is uh, a B9 chord. And we're going to play eight on the low E, 10 on the A, and then uh, 12 on the D. And we're just going to play um, an accented first chord and then three palm muted downstrokes after. So we're going to have. OK, and then we're going to move that up and we're going to do the same thing again. So we're playing a D9 uh, power chord this time. 
So uh, those two chords again a little bit quicker. So when you add that with the, uh, the other examples that we were looking at, it should sound like this. Okay, now that whole section um, will be known as Riff 3. Now, directly after Riff 3, um, we're going to go back to Riff 1 again, and we're going to repeat the whole sequence again with Riff 1, Riff 2, then Riff 3, and then we're going to finish up on E. And we're just going to hold that E chord until the backing track fades out, and then uh, turn off the guitar. Uh, at this point, I'd just like to point out another tip with uh, rhythm playing, is when you're not playing, turn off the guitar. Because especially um, when you're in a live situation, if you leave, it, well, if you leave the volume put on and you've got loads of gain, it's going to start to feed back, um, it, depending on what pickups you've got and if they're vibrating and all that kind of stuff. But generally, if, uh, if you leave the volume put on, uh, then you're going to kind of get a little bit of feedback and while you're not playing, you don't really want that. So uh, whenever you kind of finish playing, soloing or rhythm playing, just kind of uh, make it a habit of turning off the guitar. So. So it kind of sounds like, you know, you meant to stop there and, you know, it just sounds tighter and a lot cleaner. So just kind of bear that in mind. <laughs> 